right? <laughs> oh, what the hell are you doing? have any superpower, what would it be? The ability to blow myself. That's quite a visual. But uh, wouldn't it seem a little gay? No, yeah. not at all. Really? Think about it seems it. that way. <laughs> oh, dude, check her out. Ooh, wow. What do we have here? Kind of uptight librarian on the outside, yeah. with ready to rumble on the inside. Go that. ask her out. No. I'm not ready yet. I'm not... No, I can't. Oh, Matt, you're killing me. No. Your last insane girlfriend dumped you like six months ago. I would have plowed my way through half a Soho by now. Yeah, that's because you're soulless and shallow. No, it is a blessing. Go over there. Talk to her. Yeah? Do it. Matt, say hi. Okay. Give me your bag. Come on. Okay. Yes. All out. Be strong. Breathe. Eye of the tiger. Hi. Excuse me. I, I know I don't really know you, but you look like a very interesting person, so at the risk of totally humiliating myself, I thought perhaps possibly sometime I might maybe buy you a cup of... No. Doesn't have to be a cup of coffee. Could be whatever you want. A cup of anything. about it, huh? So, how about that cup of coffee? You know, or it could be something more substantial. <laughs> like dinner? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. M Matt Saunders. Jenny Johnson. Jenny Johnson. Wonderful name. You got the whole alliteration thing going. I actually grew up with a guy named Francis Freddie Friedman. Bit of a klepto, not the kind of guy you'd want to have over if you had, like, spare cash laying out. Yeah, right, right. So, um, may I get your number? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't give it out. Privacy issues. Of course. Well, I'll take yours, though. Okay. Well, I actually don't think I have a pin. I do. Oh, thanks. Now, now isn't this something that women do just to blow off losers? Yes, women do do that. <laughs> but that's not how I blow off losers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, the bad 
reflexes. Now you're a danger in the workplace. Say, do you have the bathroom layouts for the Beijing presentation? Yes. Finishing up last night. Hey, Hannah. Hey, Vaughn. That looks good. Thank you. What about... This is okay, that's not Well, good. you know, I know that it's a little bit tight, but I talked to the structural engineer and he's... Uh, how's, how's your boyfriend? Is his name Rick? Steve? Yeah. Yeah, he's good. He just got back from Milan. Look at this. Milan. Yes, his new Joe Boxer ad campaign. Wow, he's buff. Are you into that? I would think this is more your style. What do you think, no? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you give me two months in a gym and a personal trainer and the right steroids, I look like that or better. Here you go. Thank you. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, hey, Carla. Nothing. Just uh, <clears throat> reshelving some reference material, trying to stay ahead. <laughs> you were staring at her butt. He was? No. No, I was not. Yes, he was. was. Hannah, as you know, we have a zero tolerance policy for this kind of behavior. You know, I actually read that memo twice. I got it. Oh, well, you should be familiar with this part. Would you like to file a grievance at this time? Um, I don't think so, Carla. Be because as your supervisor, I am officially giving you that opportunity right now. And I thank you for that, but I think I'm just gonna let this one slide. Okay. That's completely your decision. Are you willing to sign a statement to that effect? Sure. Yes. You are lucky this time, Mr. Bottom Watcher. Hello? Matt? Hey, it's Jenny Johnson. Hey, Jenny. I wasn't sure I'd hear from you. So are we still on for dinner? Dinner? Yeah, absolutely. That sounds great. Sounds great. Real life girls. There's this great new Indian place on Madison that just opened up. Eight o'clock? Indian? Love it. I'll see you tomorrow night. OK, great. See ya. Bye. Saunders, do you have a date? Got a date. And it's a hot one. So the assistant curator job's really perfect for me. Huh. I was an art history major in college. Oh, yeah? It's the only thing I'm good at. <laughs> at least the only thing I'm good at that I can make any money off of. Right. Oh, that sounded like I was talking about sex, didn't it? No. No, it didn't. Believe me, I, I didn't mean sex. Oh, no, I mean, I no. am good at sex. Oh, I'm sure you are, yeah. Now it sounds like I'm bragging. No, no. I think I'm good at sex. I don't know. You decide. Me? Mm. But not tonight. It's a first date. Yeah. So what do you do? I'm a project manager at a design firm. Oh. We design and build uh, like private estates, libraries, hotels, that sort of thing. Yeah, right now we're, we're working on a No, no, um, I was just trying to listen to something. I, I, I don't, I don't hear anything. Excuse me, I'm sorry. It's I okay. have to go to the bathroom. Sure. How's it going? Well, uh, she's she's a talker. Yeah. Doesn't matter. The only question is, are you gonna sleep with her? That's the only question, huh? Yes, and I'm not just talking about your date tonight. I am talking about life in general. That is the only question. What, what's going on there? Uh, there's some big fire at 73rd and Broadway. Everything's burning. Is anyone hurt? I don't know. Probably. It's blocking my way to the gym. All my thoughts are with you in this time of crisis, Vaughn. Wow! Oh, man! What's going on? It's G-Girl! She's doing her thing! Are you serious, you lucky SOB? I've never even seen her in person. 
How's she look? She looks... What? Blurry, but still pretty hot. Yeah. What's she doing now? She's spinning around like one of those things that spins. Amazing. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> oh! Okay. Yes. That's it. Show's over. She put the fire out. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay. And she's gone. Flew off into the sunset. Amazing. Unbelievable. Hey, why do you think they call her G-Girl? I don't know. Like, gorgeous or G-Force? I'm not really sure. What do you think about good kisser? I can't believe I missed that today. I'm sitting here eating Indian food. Oh, wait, no, no. Goddess woman. Yeah, maybe. What about G-Spot? I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Huge line. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It was a really, really long line. Oh, you, you got a little something right here. What? They're on your chin. Oh, oh. I hate when that happens. What, when what happens? Mystery smudges. Uh, I go to the bathroom. I'm, you didn't just go to the bathroom? Are you keeping track? That's kind of creepy. She sounds like a nutcase. So you're saying she's perfect for me? Crazy women are attracted to you. It's like you give off a scent or something. Maybe you should just do a background check on her. Yeah, so what do you think? Should we keep these walls brick or should we make it stucco? I don't know. Oh. Did you take the plug? Let me handle this one. All right. Here, Hannah, don't do that. Don't do what? What are you talking about? You mean this? Hey, <laughs> sexual harassment's a two-way street, OK? Don't just think because I'm a guy that you can manhandle me. Hey, what the hell's going on here? Oh, no, sorry. Her, uh, Steve. her computer had gone down. I was just down there plugging it back in. Dude, I'm screwing with you. I'm not worried. Oh, I'm taken. I missed you. Oh, I missed you, too. Mm. Lackey! Sorry. See, Saunders, you need to be with someone who appreciates you. You know, like Steve here. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Wright. Haven't found him yet, though. Not giving up. <laughs> Steve Villard, nice to meet you. Good to see you again. Honey, this is Matt. I've met him like five times. All oh, right, right. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm a very forgettable person. When I was uh, growing up, every morning I'd come down to breakfast, my mom would scream. Call the cops on me. <laughs> it's a joke, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. You got me back. Good one. <laughs> hey, baby, we should be going to lunch. Hey, Saunders, that woman is trouble. Gotcha. Do not call her. You should definitely call her back. Yeah, you think I should? Oh, yeah. Because she's good to go, yeah. you know? And uh, you haven't gone in six months. Oh, yes. Plus, what's the downside? I don't know. She seems a little, uh... She, she's neurotic, you know? A and distant. That's good. That's a good thing. Neurotic and distant is a very good thing. Yeah. Neurotic women are hellcats in bed. Rawr. Plus, if she's distant, that means you're both in it for the same thing. Coitus maximus. Oh. There's none of this, uh, oh, could she be the one? Oh, I'm falling hard for her kind of crap to get in the way. It's just pure carnal nirvana. Yeah, I find your argument both repugnant and intriguing. That's kind of my thing. <laughs> Different color roses mean different things. Red ones mean passion or love, so this is great. But don't worry, I'm not saying that I think you're telling me that you love me. I mean, it was absurdly early for that. But you never know. Maybe someday. Or never. No pressure. 
Let me get us a cab. Taxi! Taxi! Ta oh, hey, it's stopping. Here we go. <coughs> oh, you okay? Guess we got a ride. Can we stop by the gallery? We just opened this new show. Sounds great. Hey, thanks for stopping. Appreciate it. Wow. Huh. wonder what she's looking at. Yeah, ouch. That's got to hurt. So what do you think? It's, uh, it's interesting. Yeah, a little disturbing. Mm, I know. It's surprising how frightening things attract us. Yeah. You know, Matt, I have to help people every day. And nobody's ever helped me except you. You're my hero. And it's your tongue, I and mean, you're using it all wrong. What are you talking about? You're not supposed to stick it out there like a dead fish. I mean, you're supposed to flick it a little. I think that I was flicking it, wasn't I? I think that I was doing that. No, not enough, apparently. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm just not used to having my tongue skills critiqued like this, okay? Maybe not to your face. Oh, man. Let me help you. Close your eyes. Now do what I do. So, uh, yeah, this is my place. I redesigned the space when I bought it. It's nice. Thank you. This is the uh, dining room. Couldn't get a lot of use. Well, I can help with that. Okay. This is my fish. It's Biggie Smalls. Hi, Biggie. He's, uh, he's never met a woman before. <laughs> well, he's about to get an eyeful. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I need the, um... Oh, yeah, the, the bathroom, it's right there. a little nervous. <laughs> it's okay. I got a closet full of them. Let me handle this one up. Let's take care of these. Okay. Thanks. Mm. Mm. Who would have thought we'd ended up like this I after know. that day on the subway? <laughs> Meet life grand. Mm.
Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, now I need a break. good thing right oh yeah it's a good thing okay I'm gonna see her again this afternoon whoa, whoa, whoa what are you talking about no 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 you have sex with her once and then you move on no not if you get on the greatest roller coaster of all time you don't believe me you get right back in that line okay get back in line ride two or three more times throw your hands up in the air and scream but you know what sooner or later you're gonna end up nauseous hey guys how you guys doing? Be good. Careful, keep that safety bar okay. clamped down. I got it. Okay, I, got I think it. you are gonna like this. I have a little it. present for you, Saunders. Oh. Anything for me there? Oh, no, no, um. Hey, you have nice ears. Thank you. No lobes, though. It's an imperfection, we all got them. Ooh, not me. Hmm. Hey, so I downloaded some Chinese phrases for you, you know, for the presentation. What do you think? That might help. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it would help. Hey. You're the best, you know uh, that? I know, I am. Well, I gotta get going. I'm gonna see Jenny. You're seeing Jenny? Yeah. Again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. things must really be going well. She broke his bed. Thanks, thanks. That was really thoughtful of you. Oh. I'll see you too later. No problem. <laughs> Take it yeah, easy. Yeah, see you, Look Matt. After her, okay? Bye. I will. Man, you seeing Jenny again? Just a few more times. Matt Saunders? Yeah, right Please here. take a hey, ride. Wait a second. Hey, wait a second. Hey, now look. I don't appreciate being manhandled, okay? What's going on? Mr. Saunders, thank you for your time. Okay. Now, who are you? Who am I? You watch television, Mr. Saunders? Read the papers? Use the internet for anything other than porn? You're that Bedlam guy. Professor <laughs> Bedlam. The super villain. Please, I am not super. I am not a villain. I'm just a regular man like yourself with 10,000 times more money, intelligence, and taste. Okay, so what do you want from me? Are you seeing anyone, Mr. Saunders? Are, are you asking me? Ah, ow! I want you to tell me everything you know about your new girlfriend. Jenny? Yes, Jenny. 
Where does she like to go? What does she like to do? What kind of music does she listen to? Is she afraid of bugs? Is she a dog person or a cat person? Does she wear panties or... Okay, now look, hold on just a goddamn... Ow! Now look, it's gonna stop with the slapping, all right? I, I, I just don't feel real comfortable telling you, you know, a total stranger to someone's private, private habits, okay? You gotta understand that, right? Of course. Ah! Ah! Please, someone! Help! Help! Save me, please! Like little Jenny's been cashing in on her superpowers. Oh, hey. idiot! We don't want her to know we dropped by. Swamp falling, I mean hurtling through the sky, and just as I'm about to bite it, and I mean out of nowhere, she just catches me and sets me right on the ground. Wow. It was unbelievable. <laughs> the, the weird thing is, though, that Bedlam guy, he kept asking me about you. I mean, do, do you know him? <laughs> no, how could I know him? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, what was she like? G-Girl? Mm-hmm. I didn't really get a good look at her, but to tell you the truth, she, she wasn't really what I expected, you know? In what way? I don't know. She just seemed a little... Brainy. Not really. Exotic. Effervescent. No, I kind of got this vibe she was a little nuts, you know? Nuts! Yeah. Maybe. She was a little bit preoccupied, having searched the entire city to save you from being squished like a bug on a windshield! You girls all really stick together, don't you? I like it. You're like one big gang. Rule number one about crossing the street? Look both ways. That's right. What do you call 911? Hey, Somebody call 911. I'm close. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. You're not fine. I mean, how can you be fine? Look, Matt. I can walk. No, no, don't move. Don't move. You probably have internal bleeding. You don't even know it. You're in yeah, shock, no, okay? No, it's you, it's you are in shock. Not even scratched. Did, did anyone see this? It's like a miracle. Truly, it's like a miracle. Yeah, I, I mean, are, are you sure that you're okay? I mean, you, you seem to be walking fine. I just, I... Yeah. You should know this is the first time that I've ever brought anybody here. Ever. Really? Wow. Yeah, no, it, uh... It seems like a really great place. Uh, I'm still just kind of wondering what, what the hell happened out there, you know? I know. I didn't expect to do this. At least not yet anyway. But it's good. It's good. Okay. Because what we have is so very, very special. I trust you. Okay. There should be nothing hanging between us. Especially not this, don't you think? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to show you. Look, 
nice without your glasses. You look good with them, too. I'll hold them for you. Okay. I don't know what the explanation is, but I like it already. Unless it's, uh, one of those crying game things. It's not that, is it? I mean, I I'm from Denver. Just wait. Wow, you got a G-girl costume on. That's, uh, kind of went all out, didn't you? <laughs> oh, and you even dodged your... This is incredible. But you can't tell anyone. Yeah, nobody except Vaughn. He slept with a Victoria's Secret model three years ago. I've still never heard the end of it. This will blow that out of the water. No, 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 nobody. Matt, you have to promise me you'll never, ever, ever tell anyone. Fine, you got it. No matter what happens, you will never, ever tell anyone. Hey, I swear. Say you'd rather have a chainsaw shoved up your ass than tell. Is that actually a possibility? Say it! I'd rather have a chainsaw shoved up my ass than tell. Whew. Okay. So, so this Bedlam guy, he's like your arch nemesis or something, right? Uh-huh. I mean, he's been a pain in the butt ever since we had this falling out back in high school. You guys went to high school together? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And by the way, his name's not really Bedlam. Yeah? It's Barry. Barry Edward Lambert. Bedlam, get it? Back then, we were both kind of outcasts. Everybody else hated us. So we looked out for each other. It's only natural that we spend a lot of time together. We really liked each other. It was close to the end of our junior year when I decided it was about time to get the whole virginity thing over with. I mean, Barry was harmless enough. I figured it might as well be him, right? He was having some trouble getting his pants off, and that's when it happened. Jenny! how I planned this evening. Oh my god, look at that! It's so cool. What, what are you doing? Isn't it amazing? Don't. It could be dangerous. I got back to school, even with a wig, people seemed to notice there was something different about me. Hi, girls. Oh, my glasses. And it worked for me. Oops. Unfortunately, Barry and I grew apart. He stopped talking to me, and then ignored me totally. Anyway. Things got worse between us after we graduated. 
I committed myself to being a full-time superhero, and he fell into the evil mastermind business. Yada, yada, yada. That's my story. Wow. And yeah, this whole time I just... I had this weird feeling that there was just something... a little off about you. Really? But this explains it. You just had a secret, that's all. A super secret. Yeah, we both do. May I ask you something? What? I just think it could maybe be a fun thing to try. It's kind of my request. Sure. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, yeah. That's it. Matt Saunders, you've been a very, very evil boy. I think you need to be brought to justice. Yeah, I have been known to bend a rule here and there. Total. Unrelenting justice. Oh, oh! Hey, wow! Shit! Don't let go, all oh, right? No. Oh, no. Oh, 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 yeah. You got me. He got me. Scared, yeah. Ah oh. Now, wow, we are high. Oh. We are really, really high. Oh, yeah. Jenny, you know, as fun as this is, I'm uh, I'm feeling just a little bit emasculated here with you kind of carrying me around like a toy pool, but don't let go. Oh. Oh. Careful. Where, where are you going? Careful. I got Come on. You. Fly right. I got Come on. Be careful. Whoa. Oh. 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 I've always wanted to try this. Try what? <laughs> that. Wow. I'm not sure that's going to work up here. <sighs> It's drafty, too. Oh, oh, oh. What oh. if I do this? You're not wearing any underwear. Yeah. I thought it might be easier that way. Oh. Oh. Isn't this fun? It is fun. It uh, puts a whole new twist on the Mile High Club. Watch and learn. Her body is made of the toughest substance known to man. Girl's hair after. Yes! Yes! Saunders, what's wrong? No, I just got a splinter in my finger. Oh, it's no hey, big deal. Let me see. Uh, I, can, I can get it out. I just need. No, no, come here. I'm good at this. What are you gonna do? All right, hold on. Hey, how'd you do that? Oh, I have my ways. 
Thanks. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> Jenny, what, what are you doing in New Jersey? Well, I called your office and found out where you were. Thought it would surprise you. Are you surprised? I am surprised. I wanted to, uh, yeah. Hey, thanks. It, it's good to see you. Let me introduce you to Hannah Lewis. This is Jenny Johnson. Hi. It's really nice to finally meet you. Saunders here talks about you all the time. I do. I feel like I already know you. Really? Because I feel like I'm just getting to know you. Okay. Hey, um, got an idea. Hannah and her boyfriend Steve, I was thinking maybe we all four go out this weekend, just the two couples, just two happy couples hit the town. What do you say? Great. Great. Great! Oh, okay. Bye. I'm sorry, guys. I, uh... I have some bad news. Oh, oh, right there. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, Steve can't make it. He had an emergency thong shoot. So. A thong shoot emergency? Yeah, well, you know, one bad wedgie can be fatal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where's our stupid waiter? Sir? Yeah, hold on, something's going on. The Pentagon has just confirmed that an errant test missile is in fact on a direct course for the tri-state area. So far, all attempts to detonate or intercept the missile have been unsuccessful. <sighs> Great. Perfect. If it strikes within the city, the death toll could reach into the thousands. Oh, that does not sound good. Yeah, it sounds serious. Maybe, uh, somebody should do something. Mm-hmm, yeah. Like the Air Force. It's their job, right? So, Hannah. How long have uh, you and Maddie known each other? Uh, well, we started working together at Cockrum about three years ago. So. Oh. We're just starting to get reports of sporadic looting from the Bronx to Staten Island. The government has urged people not to panic and to stay in their homes. Mm, gnocchi, gnocchi, sounds good. Anyone want to share a gnocchi? I, I, I'm sorry, but what if the Air Force can't stop it before it hits? Somebody else might need to step in. Maybe somebody deserves one night out without having to deal with some impending disaster. I think someone has earned it. Don't you? So, Hannah, you on a diet? What are you gonna order? I, I don't know. I mean, shouldn't we be leaving? Is this safe here? Sir, can we get some service here? I mean, I'm filling up on baguette. No, I think everybody's just kind of a little preoccupied with everything that's happening. Maybe if someone could just, you know, take care of the problem, everyone could have a, a better night, a smoother night. You know what I mean? You'd really like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, I would. I'd appreciate it. In fact, I'd, I'd super appreciate it. All right. Fine. Okay, where is she going? No, she's fine. She just gets stressed. You know, I, I have her looping around the block a couple times. She'll Too be fine. Too late for a mass evacuation. The situation is dangerous and potentially catastrophic. But all the citizens of New York can do is sit, wait, and pray for a miracle. We are now getting a live picture of the missile as it approaches the city. It appears certain that the... Wait, what, what is that? It is G-Girl. She is approaching the errant missile. Oh my God. She just kicked it. She just deflected the missile away from the city. We're safe.
You know, Matt, there's some things I don't need infravision to see through. I'm sorry, well, what are you talking about? You and that slut from your office, Hannah. She is not a slut. That is a terrible thing to say, Jenny. <laughs> you want to screw her, don't you? No. No, I do not. I don't believe you. C can I say something? Her boyfriend's a male model. Okay, a model. I, I don't think she'd be very interested in a guy like me. I see your point. So... You want to screw her, you just can't because she's got a boyfriend. No, I'm just saying that we're, we're, we're friends who work together. We're work friends. Don't lie to me! <laughs> the hell did you do that for? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll pay for that, I swear. Okay, don't... Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't cry, okay? It'll be okay. I know I get a little crazy sometimes. It's just... I love you so much. lighter weight today, shall we? You no, know, uh, I'm actually thinking that my first impression of Jenny was accurate. Oh, no. Yeah, complete emotional basket case. Needy, mm -hmm. jealous, jealous, controlling. Controlling the trifecta, perfect. Yeah. The truth is, I don't even love her. I'm in love with somebody else. You're in love with somebody else? Who is it? Is it me? Oh my god, it's me, isn't it? I feel the same way. I totally... That's not a good sign, is it? Who are you talking about? Who I, are you I in love with? I don't want to say it, not until I've told her. But I mean, first I have to break it off with Jenny, you know? You know I, god knows how I'm gonna do that. Ju okay, come with me. Listen, there are only two ways to successfully break it off with a woman. You can either be a jerk or a weenie. Now, the jerk route is simple. You're like, hey, babe, listen up. I'm dumping your ass. Just like that. It's quick, it's easy, it's painless. I don't have to give the balls for it, though. Well, what's the weenie route? Okay, good, weenie route. Let's go with that. Sit real close, keep it romantic, okay? Keep a kind of a sparkle in the eye, take her hand in your hand. You say, sweetheart, I think we just need to take a little time off from the relationship to reevaluate things. Right. Don't return any of her calls for like a year and a half. Pretty soon she'll give up and you'll be in the clear. I can't believe I actually listened to you. Oh, and another thing. Make sure you do it after you've had sex with her. It's really difficult the other way around. I was thinking maybe we should take a little time to <clears throat> re-examine where this is going. Oh my God. Are you breaking up with me? No. No, not at all. I mean, I just, I think it would be wise to try and evaluate where we stand, just to make sure we're on the same page. So you're, you're not saying that we should start seeing other people or anything? No, 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 I'm not saying that. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> you scared me there for a second. Although seeing other people might eventually be a part of the evaluation process. Oh, my God. You are 
breaking up with me. No, Jenny, it, it's not you, okay? I know exactly what it is. It's that slut from your office, Hannah. You're sleeping with her, aren't you? I am not sleeping. But you Hannah. want to! Jenny, now hold on a second, okay? Liar! You're such a liar! I am not a liar, all right? You want to know the truth? It's not Hannah, okay? It's you. You're needy, you're jealous, you're manipulative. I can't take it anymore. It's crazy. Don't call me crazy! <laughs> uh, see, th th that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. I can't handle that on a daily basis. Well, handle this. What are you doing? You are so gonna regret this. Oh, man. Saunders, what's wrong? What? Nothing. What could possibly be wrong? Everything's great. Never better. I'm good. Tell me. Hey, I, uh... I broke up with Jenny. You were right. I mean, she is totally deranged, off her rocker, crazy. You know, I, I, I should have listened to you from the beginning. I don't know what oh. I was thinking. How about you lay off the crazy women for a while, huh? Come here. Sorry. Hey, Hannah. Look, there's been something that I've been meaning to tell you for a long time, okay? Yes? And it's about you and... Yeah! Oh. Sorry, Ow. sorry. Are you okay? Damn. No, I'm sorry, I'm just going through a weird phase. I'm having intimacy issues. I saw that! What? No, no, it's nothing, Carla. Nothing? Yeah, you, you knocked her down. You hit her. What, was there groping? Did he no. grope you? No, it, it was an accident. Oh, an accident? Okay, like a fender bender. Yeah, we need to okay. talk. Come here. Listen, my friend, you are headed for some serious trouble. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Don't make excuses. That's the first mistake. Okay, Roger. Look, you have got to get your mind out of the gutter long enough to nail this Beijing presentation. Beijing? I hear you, homegirl. I got it. What? What did you just call me? Huh? What? I don't know. Look, if the company doesn't get this project, we're going to take a major hit. 
you have, you really have a problem. Call my therapist. Okay, I'll call him. Her. Matt! What? Phone call. Man. That boy has a major case of the hornies. Yeah? There's the young kid that zooms around in here. Did, did, did he do something? It's just up here. Looks like they broke in, fried the security camera, and then blew this huge hole to the wall. I've never seen nothing like it. Don't make no sense, officer. We got a lot of nice cars in here, and this is the only one they took. Bitch. Somebody went to a lot of trouble. You know who could have done this? No. No. No, I don't. Somebody might have a personal grudge against you? Grudge? Against me? No. No, I don't. I'm sorry. Well, you know if it turns up. Okay. We'll get to the paperwork. I wouldn't hold my breath on that, sir. Gentlemen, Guan Guanling. If you look closely at our model here... The hell? Oh, that's just great. Oh, shit! I just got that fixed. Sorry, just came to use your telescope. Nice and dark, isn't it? Wait a second. Is this all because of you? Yep, that'd be me. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Come and have a look-see. I don't see any... Oh, that's real mature. Save you a fortune in parking. Why are you doing this to me? I mean, you're supposed to be the good guy. I am the good guy. You are the bad guy. It's been a real pleasure seeing you, but I got a big day at the office tomorrow. I've got an important presentation to make. Oh. Yeah, so I really need to get some sleep. I'm going to have to say goodnight. And, uh, yeah, you might be the hottest girl I've ever gone out with, but you want to know something? You're the craziest. Hands down. Really? Dick! Will we begin soon? Gentlemen, I'm so sorry you think kept waiting. I apologize. It's, it's very rude. Just a few more minutes, please. Hi. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Glad you could join us. Can you tell me why you're wearing a hat? No. Why am I not surprised? Hi. How are you? We, we can finally begin. Gentlemen, I give you Matt Saunders. You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. <clears throat> okay, gentlemen. Gualin Gualing. Okay, our design integrates classic architectural ideas from the history of Chinese culture and transforms them into a contemporary 21st century aesthetic. But you can see clearly that functionality has not been sacrificed. <laughs> sacrificed. As you can see here by the multiple entrances to the central multi-entrance courtyard area. Exactly, exactly, right. And with a total capacity for... Oh, man. I am so, so sorry. Thanks. <laughs> you gotta laugh to keep from crying, right? Fine. Shh. Sorry. Man, no woman's ever done that to me, and I actually am a dick. <sighs> okay, all done. I am so sorry that you got fired. What happened in there? Why did you... That's hard to explain. Let's just say it's a good time for me to leave. Where are you going? 
Don't know. Don't care. Look, if, if there's something wrong, I'd like to help. Look, Anna, please just stay as far away from me as possible, okay? If something were to happen to you because of me, I, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Nice place. You broke her heart, didn't you? Okay, so what do you need? Why are you here? I'm in the middle of a project. The same as you, to get her out of my life for good. I want you to help me neutralize her. Hey, whatever she's done to me, I'm not gonna help you kill her. Kill? I didn't say kill. I said neutralize. It's a neutral word. Kill is kill. This is Switzerland. I have developed the means of permanently stripping her of her powers. No powers? So she'd just be another average, everyday, run-of-the-mill crazy ex-girlfriend? Yeah. That's got to be better. So, uh, what would you want me to do? Draw her out into the open. Help me get her when her guard is down, when she's vulnerable. I, look, I don't mean to offend you, but... You have a reputation for doing things that most people would consider to be... No-nos. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing to worry about. I'm retiring. From super villainy. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Look, if you're gonna retire, why not just forget about her? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm leaving town. Because that woman, she just won't leave me alone. She's obsessed with me. She has harassed me at every turn, and she never, ever stops. So when you finally realize that she is not the kind of woman who's ever just gonna forget about you, then you give me a call. Or you can email me at professorbedlam.com. All one word. Just, uh, give running away a try. Are you okay? What'd she do to you? Is she here? Is who here? G-Girl! G-Girl? Like the superhero? Yeah, G-Girl, the super... Why'd you call me? Steve was cheating on me. Oh, thank God. What? Oh, well... Thank, thank God that you found out sooner rather than later. I, I, I am sorry. Yeah. I caught him in bed with another woman. Actually, two other women. Maybe three. I don't know, I didn't really get a good look. Three? Yeah. Oh. Steve was so good looking, and he loved jazz and rock climbing, and he took me to nice places, and he gave me multiple I, work. I don't really need to hear that. thing is, I never really had any fun with him. Not like I have with you. You've been a really good friend to me, Saunders. I, 
kind of a, the, the thing is, I, I don't want to be just the friend anymore. You don't? No. Look, Hannah, my life has been really crazy lately. I shouldn't tell you this, but this might be the best moment of my life. It's not fair. <laughs> I was going to say that. Oh. <laughs> hey, sweetie! Matt? <gasps> I hate you, Matt Saunders! Get out! Why did G-Girl throw a shark at us? I can't tell you. And she was so pissed off. Have you done something? Are you in trouble? No. Well, yeah. And as long as I'm here, so are you. You gotta get outside the city, okay? You gotta go someplace and hide. San Diego, Tahiti, Utah. And it, no, not Utah. Utah sucks. Anywhere else. Look, you just gotta go someplace. You gotta go lay low for a while, okay? I don't understand. Look, if I ever see you again, this will all be over, okay? If... Matt, wait! Right here. Right here. What? Where? Right here. Okay. Over there. I need your help, okay? I just need, need, need to know how we're gonna stop. I have spent the past 10 years trying to analyze the source of G-Girl's power. Yeah. It is a unique type of radiation that permeates every cell of her body. Yeah, no, I know about the meteor in high school. She told me. I know. She told you that? Yeah. She talked about me? I mean, she said you guys were friends. You had a falling out. Bullshit! That meteorite changed everything between us. But now, I've got something that will totally level the playing field. That? The, the, the rock? No, the ham. It's the rock. A special rock. 
There was a rock that gave off the radiation. I now have a rock that will absorb the radiation. Uh, uh, absorb it? So you mean if you got Jenny close enough to this thing to draw the radiation from her body? Sucking it out of her like a sponge, draining her of her powers permanently. Okay, so what do you need me for? Why can't you just get her close to it? With that super hearing of hers? Now I need someone who can lure her to it. Someone who she has no cause to fear. A weak and powerless simpleton. An idiot. Hi. Hi. What's this? Well, it's just a little something I thought I'd bring by, just some things. Flowers. Yeah. You think flowers are going to make me forgive you? No. No, I do not think that. I don't think that at all. Then what the hell are you doing here? Okay, look. To be honest, I realize that I've made the biggest mistake of my life, okay? I'm desperately in love with you, and I'd do anything for us to be together again. I would. Oh, God. Isn't it beautiful? Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think about uh, today after work? You come by my place around seven and I'll make us a nice dinner. Seven? Yeah. I'd love to. Hey, Jenny. Matt, it's beautiful. Oh, what is that? Is, is that for me? It is, it is. It's a little something that I got you, because, well, well, I, I want to apologize for the, you know, the terrible way that I've treated you. It just wasn't right. You're so sweet. You didn't have to. Yeah, it's true. I'm sorry. What is it? Well, hey, Matt, no, no peeking, okay? I want it to be a surprise. Okay. Let's, let's have a toast. You are amazing. Do I? Second chances. Second chances. The man's not bad. He might have a future in our business. <laughs> yeah. You know, deep down, I had a feeling that you'd realize your mistake and come back to me. You are wise. <laughs> Do you want to know a secret? Sure. That's why I didn't kill you. the sweetest guy I've ever met. Oh, no, no, no. Yes, yes, you are. He's sweet. Yummy. Matt? Uh, Hannah, what are you doing here? Me? What are you doing here? You said your life was in danger. And what's she doing here? Who's that? Do we know her? Okay, I don't know her. Everything. Okay, just give me a 
I don't know her. Well, you know how you tried to steal my boyfriend by being such a big, fat whore? <laughs> it didn't work. Okay, Jenny, stop. Let, uh, let me handle this, okay? Are you okay? back together with her? No. What? No, I'm, well, yeah, yeah. We, I, look, it, it's very complicated, okay? How could you do this? You told me you loved me. H Hannah, please, just, just do me a favor, okay? Yeah. And just leave, okay? I mean, just try to have a little self-respect. I mean, you're starting to look pathetic. Matt, you are not... Oh, my God, there you are. Thank God, I've been calling you all day, dude. It's perfect. Playoff tickets, amazing seats, you and me. Not now. Tonight, third baseline. Yahoo! Look, now's a terrible time, okay? Hey, what's in the box? Stay away from that box. Come on. You know, Hannah... Why don't you just run along before I have to kick your ass back to Munchkin Land? Okay, just stay away from Okay, me. okay. It looks big. It might be a nice present. Are you threatening me? Push me one more time, sister, and you'll find out. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do? Squash me with your gigantic feet? That's it! Don't touch me! Just do me a favor and leave and take Hannah with you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! You're G-Girl. You have doing G girl ah, ah, go on open the box go 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 watch the back <laughs> open the jam box ah. it's not much of a present ah. i'm sorry I... 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 That's a weird rock. Dude. Ah, happy ending for everybody. Well done, Mr. Saunders. You did this. You helped him. I'm really sorry. You, you did throw a shark at me. You know. B besides, Bedlam's gonna retire. It'll be okay. Are you an idiot? It's like you're done, honey. Uh. You always thought you were so much better than me. Now it's my turn. Now I will be the one with the powers. And you'll just be plain old Jenny Johnson. <laughs> Having a moment here. That's so tough now, huh? Anna, don't let her touch the rock! She's dead, Matt. I'm sorry, man. Let her go. What do you... We, we gotta dig her out. We gotta start the grieving process. Are you crazy? Come here. Give me a hug, Bear Cub. You! I thought you were just a jerk. Now I find out you're really stupid. Teaming up with Barry? <laughs>
I'm fine too. I thought I twinged my knee, but I'm all right. Good. Hey, come on, forget about them. Let's go. Oh. It's you. Are you a As a matter of fact, I am. these people. Okay, Jenny, th this has got to stop right now, okay? Please, just, 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 just give me that, okay? Here you go, just give it to me. Wow. That was a lot heavier than I thought. I... Look, God knows I don't want you mad at me, okay? And I'm sorry if I ever hurt you. Yeah, you know, I know what we had was something special. And at times it was great. But it wasn't love. All right? And deep down, you know that. You know, and you're a great girl. And you deserve to be with the perfect guy. You do. I do. And I know who the perfect guy for you is. And he's here, right here, right now. Professor. What? Barry? Go on, Professor. Tell her. Tell her what? Listen. That she's my mortal enemy, that I want nothing but her destruction? Come, come on, Barry. Please. Please stop calling me Barry. It, it's true. This guy, he's got a shrine to you in his house. There are pictures of you all over the walls, just of you. And I, I mean, this guy, he, he's hooked on you. He really is. Is that true? It's now or never. It may be a little true. Okay, okay, it's a good story. Come on, Barry. B Barry, come on. All right, all right. It's completely true. I love you. I've always loved you. But if you love me so much, then how come you're always trying to hurt me? You hurt me, because you broke my heart into a billion pieces. You ignored me. You left me behind. So I thought, if I had the powers, you may learn to love me the way I have always loved you. Are you sure? Do you really love me? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's over. Can you believe it? I'm free. You were great. I can't believe that fight. I, mean, I, I still think she could kick my butt, but I got a no, few good punches in there. You saved my ass in there. You were wonderful. And hey, I'm, I'm really sorry I didn't explain things to you sooner, but oh. I was just trying to protect you, that's all. I totally understand. I get oh, it. Uh, good. Oh my god, my hair. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. You can fix it. Here, try this on. Thanks. Ah. See? Adorable. Yes, you are. No, not me. Come here. Oh, no. ah. oh, tight, oh, tight. oh I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I just still getting used to all of this. I know. You and me both. And you know, we're gonna have to talk about the relationship too. Talk, you mean your your powers. Just because you have them doesn't mean you have to use them. You know what I mean? You're a little scared of me. What, scared? No, come on, I'm not scared at all. Come here. Mm. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I am. I'm ready.
ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, all right, I got it. Oh no, I think it tweaked something. Oh, you poor baby. brought it down for you. Peace offering. Yeah. 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 Uh, you've done so much for us. We couldn't be happy. I mean, what? What? How? 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 how to... Asteroids. Most of that'll just buff right out. I'll fix that. Look, I can trick it right out for you if you want. You know, rocket launches, uh, laser cannons, voice-activated battle armor. You hear something? No. There's a 747 in trouble. It's a 727. Time to go to work. You need a hand? A hand? Yeah, any help? I never had any help. Could be some heavy lifting. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, really? Yes. Yes! <laughs> All right! Woo! <laughs> okay, ready! Woo, here I go! Get a beer? Sure. Let's do it. 